This is Doug Caldwell, University of Florida, Collier County Extension. We're downtown Naples, following up on the Rugo spiraling whitefly. We wanted to show you how severe it's become on new hosts. Different hosts down here, including the Busida or Black Olive, Shady Lady trees, as well as the Banyan trees, the Ficus bengalensis. We can see how badly infested these trees are. You've got layers of sooty mold, which are, of course, caused by the white flies honeydew excrement and the sooty mold is not a pathogen but it is a, a fungus that grows on the sugars in that honeydew. Then we also have the white flies and their waxy deposits. You've got layers of sooty mold and waxy deposits and white flies all over these trees. We're looking for predators and parasites which will hopefully catch up and reduce the numbers of the spiraling white fly. So, looking around here, we're looking for lady beetles, lace wings. This is brown lace wing immature. They're like saber toothed lions. They're very ferocious predators. And they have a little bizarre behavior in that they carry the victim's exoskeletons on their back. So they're kind of like a, a walking cemetery with uh, all their victims exoskeletons stowed on top of its back. I wanted to point out there's a big difference between the Rugo spiraling white fly and the ficus white fly. The ficus white fly is more of a stealth attack plane. You don't see the, the white flies. And you don't see the honeydew and you don't see the sooty mold with the ficus white fly. On the other hand, the Rugo spiraling white fly is like a B-52 bomber or even a C-9 cargo plane. They lazily float around, they're easily seen. They have a lot of honeydew. The honeydew creates sooty mold. So the Rugo spiraling whitefly is very easy to detect. The ficus whitefly is difficult to detect because they're much smaller whiteflies. They're not as numerous. And we're also looking at very little honeydew on the ficus. You can see a large amount of leaf debris from the Busida or black olive trees and then this is caused by the, the white fly sucking the leaves dry, essentially. And as we move over to the Ficus bengalensis, we have more leaves on the ground. And every one of those is coated with the spiraling white fly. Even the Ficus bengalensis or banyan trees are being attacked by this Rugo spiraling white fly. You can see these leaves that have dropped off. Lots of white flies, lots of sooty mold. And we even have some eggs of uh, one of the lace wings here. They're like little eggs on a stick here. What to do? Nothing's changed in the recommendations. We want to look at basically doing a soil drench with the systemic or trunk injections. We don't want to spray. Spraying only lasts a few weeks and you're also, because the sprays are broad spectrum, you're going to reduce the beneficial insects as well as the white fly. So we want to protect the beneficial insects, our attack bugs, so they build up in numbers and help us control this aggressive pest. This is what we don't want to see happen is infested trees cut down. In this case, the Busida or black olive trees in this parking lot provided nice shade but because of the insect infestation and the honeydew dripping on cars, they thought the easiest solution was to cut the tree branches back. These trees are going to take a long time to recover and look like trees. They're going to need a lot of corrective pruning and uh, nurturing. It's easier to control the insects than to damage your trees in this fashion. This is Doug Caldwell helping you to beautify your landscape and protect the environment.